the issues between, and even this, this spans far beyond heterosexuality, about mothers and daughters having conversations. When she said that, it kind of, it, it twanged me a little bit. Did that get to y'all a little bit when she said it? Yes. Because you don't really think about it until somebody says it. It's like, damn, no, my mother didn't say nothing to me. Definitely when you have to come out about your sexuality to your parents. When you have to tell them that I'm gay, I'm lesbian. You don't have to tell your parents you're straight. They just assume that shit. <laughs> so then they ask that to face the facts that they got to talk to you about who you choose to love in this life. I wrote this piece about a conversation me and my dad had about my sexuality. <clears throat> I have nothing but goodness in my chest. And as sure as my heart beats in my left breast, I sleep without rest. Because my family don't embrace my goodness, we digress. While every year continues to progress and I begin to love this person of the same sex, limitless. I'm depressed. Because whenever I discuss my love's diligence, I see my daddy's heartbreak with disgust, disappointments, with prayers of a holy water-based ointment to relieve me of this sickness. It seems to people like me, wicked. Thinks that someone defiled his child's pureness, says that my sexuality will be the devil death of me. And my ministry, minuscule, until I go into the churches and be the preacher's tool to fool every person in the pew. All, all three overflow rooms and even the deacons in the vestibule. Convincing them that I am a blessed poet. And not because my words show it, and not because my walk's flowing with a humble bop to it, but because I don't sin. I don't sleep too much by the likes of him, yeah. Because I like men. So just call me Mrs. Johnson. Hear my words echo off of the chapel ceiling like who I am sleeping with is any of their business. Regardless of the fact that me and my woman don't even have to touch hands and I will still be indulging in the sweetness of her spirit. He says confess so God hears it. Repent so that your light will be brighter lit. And last time I checked, God don't give illumination in water. So if I shine, it's because he saw fit. Regardless of the sentiment in the pulpit. And I'm so steep in subliminal sadness, I spark bliss. Herb sip the seedless, fold lick, roll sit, inhale a bit for an uplift out of the darkness of your well intent. Keep that shit. Because real non-judgment don't have a disclaimer on it. Just a genuine smile and a hug. And more times with my family will mean less with a dub, but they don't want to be involved with my modern day leprosy. Like these, like these stains on my record reflect my life's integrity, but these stains really only exist because they can't see nothing but dirt on me. So I choose to peruse schools of thought that perceive me cleanly. I run from the Christian who is a slave trying to free me. The opinion of a church minion ain't particularly appealing because God said things yes. And Jesus surely came. But the high priest passes and others ordain leave my people drain. Feeling like they ain't nothing. And while they're waiting for the second coming, we forget that Jesus made the scars and the cross on his back so we could be godly just like that. Not to worship his abilities, but to act as he acts and not to crucify your children because they don't subscribe to your facts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But my depression is not your problem. And my happiness is not your trauma. So I exist in the throes of insomnia because my family, minus my mom and some, can't understand that the way I live and who I love has nothing to do with them. <laughs>